In this how-to video, we are going to show you how you install and commission the Fronius Verto Plus. We are also going to show you how to connect a compatible battery storage to the hybrid inverter. Please note, depending on which battery system you are using, for example, when you interconnect multiple battery towers from BYD, you need to make sure to build yourself a DC combiner box so that when parallel connecting the towers, you get a DC fuse inside that can operate up to an amperage of 15, 50 amps. However, for using the Fronius Reserva, you don't need such a combiner box at all, so you can directly interconnect the battery towers between each other without the need of a DC combiner box. Furthermore, we have with the Verto Plus now a new functionality for the data communication to the battery system. We have now implemented an Ethernet plug on the pilot card. So that means that you don't need to open up extra pins on the data communication, but you can instantly install the data communication with the help of an easy Ethernet plug. Furthermore, please notice that we get two cross section X factory delivered for the MC4 EVO store plugs for connecting the battery storage. So that means that you can either decide to use a four up to six square millimeter MC4 plug for smaller power classes of battery systems. And then we get one 10 square millimeter plug for bigger power battery systems. So that means, please note, however, which battery system you are installing, please choose the right diameter for your battery application. please open up the access point on the inverter by clicking the button and the LED flashlight will start flashing. After that, you open the Solar Start app and can either log in with your uh, existing login or you can register a new account on SolarWeb. After that, you hit the scan QR code button and then you can scan the QR code on the side of the inverter at the nameplate. With that, the Solar Start app will join and connect to the existing device. And after the connection is established, you can start the commissioning process. First step is the network communication. Therefore, you can set now your customer password. Please set the customer password that also the end customer can use to log into his system. After that, you can give off a system name, time zone, and 
area and then you can also please choose yes I agree the technical necessary data processing and also transfer analysis data to Solovet. After hitting the next button, the first step is now to commission the network and you can do this either via Ethernet connection or via a wireless LAN connection. Second step is then the product commissioning and therefore you need to give away a technician password. Please note this technician password is only for you as a trained installer. After that, you can set the country setup. Please note to always use the country setup that was given away by your local grid supplier. Second step is then device configuration and there you can configure your PV system. So depending on which PV generator power you have installed on the roof, you can just give away now DC 1, 2 and 3 for the Verto Plus. After that, you can now add up a power meter. Please select the right power meter that you just installed, Modbus RTU or TCP. And third thing is then to use up a battery system, commission the battery system for in our case Fulnus Reserva. Use the SOC limit as automatic and third then you can also add up battery charging from other sources and with that you can add up another AC generator in the system and therefore you just put in the AC nominal output power of this third party device. Third thing is then the function and IOs. Here you can define your backup power mode. So even if you're using PV point or full backup, please just choose from the list. So in this case, we can set a reserve capacity, for example, 20% that should always stay inside the battery in the case of backup power mode. Down below, you're setting your IOs standard. These are pin zero, seven and six, and we recommend you to stay with the default values. Last but not least, you can activate your load management. This is optionally to put on and off loads and the battery grid import limits. Last but not least, you can set export limitations. There you can set a total DC power of the entire system and you can do this either in watts or in percentage of the overall system. Second up, you can then set the power control and the uh, soft limit to really limit your power output into the public grid. Please note, whenever a power limitation is necessary, it needs to be set here. Last but not least, to bring the SolarWeb system online, you need to hit the SolarWeb button and therefore please follow the instructions of the Solar Start app. After hitting finish button, you will then see the overview in the bubble chart of the system and the current state of the system.